it's favourites time again and this week I am discussing all the things I loved through September so I hope you enjoy it. I feel like there's not really a lot of beauty favourites in this month's video. I feel like there's quite a lot of like random things. I could be wrong though. I've forgotten. <laughs> right, I'll get into like beauty things first. Where's that other thing gone? Oh there they are. Okay, the first thing I have been loving is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour Stay Fresh Foundation. I'd read a few reviews on this and I'd seen a lot of people saying they really liked it and I absolutely love trying out different foundations. I feel like I get quite bored with my foundation quite quickly and I also find it impossible to find one that I absolutely fall in love with. I usually just use NARS Sheer Glow um, and so for me to find anything else that isn't of NARS kind of price tag and still love it just as much is always a winner in my book to be honest. So I bought two foundations from L'Oreal actually. I bought the L'Oreal True Match and I bought this one which is the Infallible and as I'd also seen a lot of people raving about the True Match foundation but I actually preferred this one. I prefer the consistency of this one and I just find that it blends into my skin a lot nicer. I like this because it's a kind of medium coverage. You could probably build it up um, but it just, it doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation if that makes any sense. It feels very natural. It also doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything and I really like the coverage that it gives. So this I have been using pretty much every single day through September and I really, really like it. So if any of you are looking for a new foundation, give this one a try. To apply my foundation, I have been doing something very different. Now, beauty sponges or beauty blenders or whatever you want to call them have been around for quite a while and I'm really late to this bandwagon. I feel like around two, three years ago I may have tried one before. Um, clearly I wasn't doing it right. I think I was like dragging it across my face and I just didn't feel like it was really doing anything. I received this one in my PO box. I think this is just your traditional kind of beauty blender. They look a bit swollen right now because I just washed them for this video. They looked a bit manky. This one also has some mysterious little bite marks in it because um, Nala thought it was a toy and I found it in her mouth earlier. I was like, oh my god, give me back my beauty blender. Um, so I think this is like a traditional beauty blender and this one is the Pixie Woo one. Um, I love both of them to be honest, um, or, however this one definitely washed better. Um, and I like Salmon Nyx because it has a lot of different angles to it. So you've got this flat side, which mine isn't really that flat anymore because of the teeth marks. Um, but you've got this flat side to kind of work into different angles and you've got the pointed side. I do find the pointed side really useful for like under your eyes, around your nose, etc. And then you've also got kind of the kind of curved soft side which you have on pretty much everywhere on this one. I have just found using a beauty blender for my foundation and my concealer actually to be so much more efficient than using a brush. Who's texting me? Oh, it's Nimbops. I kind of put my foundation on the back of my hand. I dab the sponge into my foundation. I do it dry. I know a lot of people use them wet or they'll use like a fixing spray on the blender first. I've not tried that. I kind of want to though. Um, and then kind of just dab the foundation on um, and the concealer as well, actually. And the coverage is just amazing. Like I just find that it gives a really good flawless coverage. I've still got soap coming out of this so I might have to go and rewash that one. So I would definitely say to go try these out. Sometimes I just find I go through um, phases with my foundation and my skin actually. I think because the weather is changing here in the UK right now my skin started to get a little bit drier. So sometimes when I use a brush and I'm trying to blend my foundation and I feel like I'm just smearing it all over my face Whereas with this, I really don't. And I'm actually amazed by how much of the product doesn't actually sit in the brush. Like I just washed these and not that much came out. And I was expecting a sponge to literally soak up half the foundation that I had on the back of my hand, but I haven't found it to do that at all. Um, and just, I just, I don't know, the foundation lasts better. Um, it wears better. I just think these are amazing and everyone should be using these to apply foundation because they're just, so good and um, I was about to throw them and then I realised Nala would chase after them and I wouldn't have them anymore so I'm gonna just pop them down. I just don't 
maintain my hands. Like, I don't enjoy painting my nails. I don't, I don't like it really. I don't know, I've just never shown any interest. I, I don't have the patience for nail art. And anytime I do paint my nails, it either ends up on Nala or somewhere and it just doesn't look good. So, a thing that I have found that can combat that and make me love my hands and make me love my nails again is fake nails. Um, and ones that are really super easy to stick on and also really not that difficult to take off if you want to. And the ones that I've been really loving are the Elegant Touch ones. I've raved about these on my second channel. I think I might have raved about these on this channel at some point, I can't remember. Um, I haven't got any on right now, actually. I've just taken some of these off. I think the reason I like them is because I have quite small nails and I have quite small nail beds and I find it quite difficult to make fake nails look natural on me but I find these ones are amazing and the shape is perfect and you really don't have to do a lot with these. Um, these ones are the Totally Bare Square 001 up to two uses per pack. I actually find it's more like one and a half for me um, because I use up all the smallest sizes and they don't necessarily have a lot of the smaller ones so I feel like it's kind of one pack does all my nails and there's a few spare if I lose any. Um, but these ones are completely clear and you can paint them any colour you like. When you paint a fake nail, I find it dries so much quicker, there's no chipping. So that, in that sense, is the only way I enjoy painting my nails because it's not actually painting my actual nails. They do come with glue, however, I don't use the Elegant Touch glue. It could be really good, I don't know, but I already had this one, so I've been using this one, and this is the Nailene Ultra Quick Nail Glue, which again, is really, really good. These ones already have a colour, and they're a slightly different shape. They're a little bit more rounded, um, so there's those. And then these ones, which I'm super excited about, are some kind of copper metallic ones, so I should probably be putting some of those on later. I'm so glad I'm now able to share this with you, but this is my new hand cream, and this video wouldn't be a video without a little bit of shameless promo, so I am gonna throw this in there. However, it's not shameless promo at all because I freaking love it, and I'm just excited that I get to talk about it now because it is out to buy now, and I don't have to be like secret about it. It is my new hand cream. Oh, I just put a lot on because my hands have been super dry at the moment because it is that time of year and the first place the change of weather affects me is my hands and so I have been slathering on my hand cream basically at every opportunity I get. It smells really lovely, it smells like the original scent. Um, I mean, I don't really have a bad word to say about it because I wouldn't release a product that I didn't like or if it had something about it that I didn't like. So um, yeah, I just, I was really excited to have a hand cream in the original collection because it is one of those things that most people will want or kind of it sits on people's bedside tables or it kind of just goes in the handbag, especially at this time of year. So I kind of feel like it was perfect timing um, and I just love it. Oh, smells very fresh. Um, if any of you have smelt the original collection, you'll know what it smells like. I didn't want it to be too strong in the hand cream though, because I don't know, a hand cream with a really strong scent is never appealing, personally, I don't think, but um, yeah. Oh, it feels so nice. I get this really weird thing in winter where if my hands feel dry or my feet feel dry, it makes me feel really suffocated, like under the duvet. I'm like, oh my God, my feet feel really dry. So I have to have like, either a foot cream or a hand cream nearby because I can't stand, like right now my feet are doing it because I'm thinking about it, I'm like, my feet are suffocating, they need to be moisturized. So I am gonna do that after the video. But um, I don't know if that's just me. Please let me know in the comments if you feel the same. Anyway, one to hand, love it, rose gold packaging. Um, very happy with that, very, very happy with that. I have been loving baking magazines. Ah! Baking magazines are basically just that, a magazine dedicated to baking and to different recipes. And you guys know how much I love baking. I've definitely been doing it a lot more now. Um, I feel like it's kind of my one hobby. Although I do film it sometimes. It is kind of like, it's what I do in my downtime. Like a lot of people are like, you're always working and on social media or filming or editing or what do you do in your downtime? And I'm like, I don't really know, but now I feel like I can safely say in my downtime, I do like to bake. When these start coming in, 
especially when they're kind of like time of the year themed, I get really excited. So this one has a lot of kind of Halloween, autumn and Christmas themed bakes, as does this one. Um, they're just full of great inspiration, so many fun, exciting recipes and it's, I don't know, there's just something about, I mean they're quite a pricey, like you could buy a recipe book for that, but I don't know, there's just something about these that I really, really like, but yeah. I just enjoy reading those. If I'm in the bath, you just have a little flick through and you can kind of like fold over the page that you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna give that one a go. On the subject of baking, another thing I've been loving this month is the Bake Off. Uh, some of you may know, oh, I'm just gonna sit up a bit. Some of you may know that I was actually on the Celebrity Bake Off for Red Nose Day last year and it was the most amazing thing ever. Did feel like I was gonna have a nervous breakdown in the run up to it <laughs> and watching it, but it was so much fun. And having now been in that situation, when I watch the Bake Off now, I feel like I can relate to the contestants like times 100. However, they have got it way much harder in a sense of the recipes every single week and I couldn't, I definitely couldn't do it. Two days was enough for me, I couldn't do it for way more than that. Um, but I just, I absolutely love it. I love baking, I love how British it feels. I love Mary and Paul, I just love everything about it. This week is gonna be the final. I'm really excited to see who wins. I don't know who I want to win. I love all of them. You know when you just watch something that makes you instantly feel calm and like the world is okay and that everything is fine and I don't know, you, I just, everyone's got those things they like to watch which just makes them feel good, right? Bake Off for me is that, so I really love the Bake Off. After the Bake Off, there is a program called Dr. Foster. So I got into this because Poppy mentioned it to me. She was like, have you been watching Dr. Foster? And I was like, no. And she was like, oh my God, you are gonna love it. You're gonna be obsessed. It's gonna be like Broadchurch all over again. I was like, okay, well, I really wanna watch this now. <laughs> so I watched the first three episodes on iPlayer and it was amazing. It's about a doctor who is living in a village or a town and I don't want to give it away if any of you haven't seen it, but it's based around her husband having an affair or an alleged affair um, and yeah, that's all I want to say. I don't want to give any of it away if you haven't seen it yet. So go on over and watch that. I love it so much. Basically Wednesdays for me is like pure TV heaven. So Bake Off, Dr. Foster, bit of dinner and I mean, it's just the best night ever, isn't it? <laughs> Whilst watching my two favorite TV programs, I am wearing <laughs> this. Okay, so some of you may have seen me raving about this on Twitter. Oh my God, I just love it so much. It's a dressing gown that I ordered from Marks and Spencers, or Marks and Spencer, I always put an S on the end of it. <laughs> and I'm sure I'm not the only one. It, it was called, um, shimmer dressing gown or something and I was like okay I don't care if it's shimmery I'm not getting it for the shimmer but it looks like the softest thing I've ever seen and I used to have this dressing gown from Topshop which was very similar I think some of you might remember it had little ears I think Tanya had the same one it went off to the laundrette with some of my dry cleaning and I think they might have steamed it and it was like all completely burnt and I was gutted. I was like, no, because it had gone all like hard and crusty and I was like, no, this is not my soft dressing gown. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, this could be the replacement. A whole year later, I think I found a dressing gown replacement. It's soft on the inside, soft here, and soft on the outside. Like this is honestly the coziest soft, Nala has farted and I'm struggling to breathe. <laughs> this is honestly the softest thing I've ever bought. If I could get away with wearing this every single day in life, going shopping, I don't know, answering the door to the postman. Actually, I'll be honest, I have already answered the door to the postman wearing this and I didn't care at all. If I could get away with wearing this all the time, I totally would. I'm just gonna put it on so I can show you what it looks like. I don't even really buy much from Marks and Spencer usually. But when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to get it. Mmm, it's just so cozy. You guys, you need this in your life. 
Okay, so now we can totally set the scene. Imagine it's a Wednesday evening, I've got my dressing gown on, I'm cozied up on the sofa, I'm watching Bake Off and Dr. Foster, and it's just, I am just living life to the fullest. It's not shimmery either, I think it's just a term they used for it, but it's not shimmery. <sighs> it's very hot in here all of a sudden, but I just can't bear to take this off. Okay, so that is my favourites for this month. I actually can't believe September has gone and it's now October. Like, I know I've said this a lot, like I love this time of year, but okay, now it can slow down. Like, I want it to slow down now because it's going way too quickly. Um, let me know in the comments, as always, what you've been loving this month, whether you've used beauty blenders before or you like to use false nails and I'm not the only lazy person when it comes to my nails. And I would love to know who you think is going to win Bake Off. That's what I want to know in the comments this week. I love you very much, and I'll see you again very soon.